Simple little how-to for a drill motor. Don't know what it came out of. Right. Convert it over to an RC motor. You're going to take off the pinion. You're going to grind a flat spot on the shaft. All right. But before you do that, crucial step. Electrical tape. I'm going to wrap up all the exposed holes. You don't want any small filings getting in there or you're going to wreck the motor right away. All right. So step one, wrap it. So now that I've got it wrapped, I'm going to go outside with the angle grinder and give it a cut. So now I've gone outside and taken the angle grinder and as you can see right here, I've grinded away, I don't know, about just under half the pinion. All right. And if I take pliers, because you'll need something to get this off. It's not always the easiest. Alright, so now that I got that off, all right, we could see this better flat spot there on the shaft. That's where your new pinion's grub screw is going to go on to. So then when you take off this tape, I'll just speed this one up for you guys. And when you take all the tape off, it's ready to be installed. All right, you've got your normal screws that came with the motor in the drill. You're going to want to reuse those. They're going to be great. If anything, you might have to add a washer. Maybe two, sometimes not any. Sometimes you get lucky, you get these little holes in the back. I find they make for a wonderful time for doing soldering. Uh, a lot of times you could just use little clips, give it a dab of solder, it stays on. Uh, why not just do it the right way, right? So that is your cordless drill motor converted to a RC motor. Very simple, will save you a lot of money. Actually, you know what, you can see right there, I kind of nicked it with the angle grinder. No worries, it'll still run beautiful, alright? Turns. Next time you see this motor, it'll be in my Land Rover. Until next time.